Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and we have been working all day. I wanted to do this video yesterday. A lot of people had asked about the LED lights that we mentioned in a previous video. If you don't know what video I'm talking about, the link is here. We showed you our living space. These are LED lights that you can get at Lowe's. Uh, other stores probably carry them. This particular brand is really good. This light is, this is the 21 watt version. And if you look at the light output, it basically gives you a very good illumination. This is the 11 watt version. So this is what 11 watts looks like. And you're going to notice that this one is actually a little bit warmer in color. You can get these, they go all, they have um, the daylight, which is like 6500K, all the way down to the warm white lights, which is what a standard light bulb that a lot of people are used to, the 3000K area. That's what, this one is 3000K. So this gives you a warmer light. For 10 watts, I'm going to shut the lights off in here. And this is what... 10 watts looks like, or 11 watts looks like. Now we have a black ceiling, so it does not reflect the light as good. What we did in our house was we put a very white reflective roof in there, and this allows the light to bounce and scatter. The walls are light. Something you want to keep in mind when you actually decide to make your house more energy efficient. Now, for those of you that don't have the money for these, this particular bulb here we got on sale. It was this one, I believe, was $19. This one was $34. They're normally about $3 to $4 a watt, depending. You can get cheaper ones on eBay. You can actually find ones that come directly from China. These are... These are made nowhere. These are also made in China. So... Most of the lighting that you're going to get made outside the country, old standard light bulbs, 100 watt types, they're usually not made here either. Even though they have an, a company like GE's logo on them, they're usually made elsewhere. This is a big compact fluorescent. This is a huge bulb. We've used this as a general light for overall lighting in a room. You can see that this is extremely powerful. A lot of people don't like compact fluorescent bulbs. I think they're okay. This bulb is a 68 watt bulb and you can see that it puts out a lot of light. I'm going to shut the lights off and show you that this gives you very good lighting. If you were to have just a single one of these, you could light up an entire space if you have a really large room. Again, with white, with a, we have a black roof in here because it was rusted and it just looks better painted black. This is our work area. We have directional lighting. But this bulb will actually give you the proper amount of light. We had our house lit up with, we had two of these, uh, actually we had one of these and two smaller ones in that video. You can see how well it did. This bulb actually alone will light that whole front room up. Problem is getting it to other rooms. <coughs> I am a little bit congested because in our house, we have come across some insulation that is kind of bizarre that we're having tested. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. Back to the lights. These lights are very good. They're very expensive. I'm going to be taking you outside and showing you a light that's in my mom's yard that will actually, uh, we've had on for a little over two years. It's a GE light, outdoor light. It's a 10 watt bulb. By the way, this is other features that LED lights can do. This one is changing colors. That bulb right there is a 2 watt bulb. The one next to it is a, I believe it's a 3 watt bulb. The one next to it is not the best LED light, but this one is really good. It's been running for over a year, performing well. Out back we have, I believe this is a 10 watt bulb. This is one of the GE bulbs, and you can see that it illuminates the whole area. For 10 watts, not bad. So you saw what 10 watts looks like. This is what 20 watts looks like with a better quality LED. 
and this is a 6 watt solar panel that I'm videotaping at nighttime. I hook this 6 watt panel up to a 7 amp hour battery. These are your basic backup battery systems that you can get them on eBay with free shipping. I have this hooked to a 3 watt LED bulb. Now here is the LED bulb. These bulbs also cost around $6 a piece. The amount of light that these output is quite amazing. It actually will illuminate your entire front yard. The nice thing about the 12 volt lights is you can set a simple battery. They're like 20 bucks. You can set them out with a small solar panel, a six watt solar panel with the diode that senses light, shuts the light off during the day, charges, trickle charges the battery, and you can put that out. We've got one out back that we just keep out and it basically does its own thing. It's like a 30 or $40 setup once you get everything done. It gives you light in areas where you may not want to run an extension cord. These are the LED lights. I'll be doing more detailed videos on these in the future. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.